Hey, you heard that Trinidad's not gonna be here, right? Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Why not? Because I have a solution. Dude, that's not Trinidad, what are you talking about? Trinidad James has entered the building. You put this in front of the camera, throw a little green screen on. That's your fix? Perfect. James. Drip, flip, or skip. You don't see it? No. I see it. James. Gold on. She want every color. That's a fault. Yep. That's a fault. Yep. You. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James, baby! And we have with us here today, Evan Mock. He is a skater, a model, an actor. Go check out Gossip Girl. We're gonna find out about his sneaker history today. Evan, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me. Oh, we, we are happy to have you. We're gonna talk about all that. The first thing we're gonna talk about, though, is the shoes everyone has on feet. So, Welty, please tell me what you're wearing. Actually going Nike today. Shout out our good friend, Edison Chen, the Claw Air Max Ones. Evan, I wore these today because I thought, which sneaker might closely match your hair so we can coordinate? You're a little off, but it's good kinda, for kinda close. <laughs> Turn it out, what do you got on? I appreciate off? the consideration. Oh. <laughs> you know what I got on. A bonnet. I was definitely got on the bonnet. For starters. First up, you know what I'm saying? Take my bonnet off and all the girls go crazy. Um, okay. I got the same shoes that Welty got on. <laughs> oh! Wow. A cardinal sin. This is this is what happens when you don't no come way. to the studio. We can't coordinate beforehand. Okay. Spider-Man man. Same shoes, man. So, you know, definitely we touching tips and taking sips. Awkward. I love it. I love it. Aqua boy stuff is just so amazing. Great. I have Cactus Plant Flea Market. Shout out Cynthia Lau. You didn't pay for it? No, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> just showed up on my doorstep. It's a great shoe. But uh, yeah, I've been skating these actually, and they they go. Did the did the diamonds fall off when you skate? They haven't yet. Really? I'm surprised. They're honestly. that well adhered. Yeah, like if you look closely, there's a little. They're just like a little bit scratched up, but oh. none of them fell they, off. They did Evan, a great job on the shoe. Evan, you didn't buy those shoes, but what's your most regrettable sneaker purchase? Oh, uh, it was probably on my 16th birthday. I bought like these uh, purple, white, and black dunks, and they were a little too small because I waited like two, three years to wear them because I was so nervous to like crease them <laughs> yeah. or huh. get them dirty. So Did you take a photo time, for the gram at all? Or you're like, no, I'm, I'm was, icing these for years. Instagram kind yeah. of. One year off. I don't, well, I actually just had a flip phone or no phone at all at the time. <laughs> and so I just like had them hanging up on my wall and I didn't wear them for like three years. And by the time I wanted to put them on, they were too small. <laughs> you missed the window. So I missed the window. <laughs> I bought a Jabberwocky shirt. Well, my mom bought me a Jabberwocky shirt and those <laughs> those shoes and I just didn't wear either of them. Wow, <laughs> that's that's patience, man. Well, at the time, yeah. The only <laughs> shoes I really had, because in Hawaii, like, I was barefoot 98% of the time. Yeah, okay, I respect so. it. Just a keiki running around the island. Exactly, just a there tiny keiki. <laughs> tiny um, I'm, I'm doing a Bodega New Balance 15th anniversary. I know Welty already wore these on the show, but I'm always happy to um, follow in his footsteps. Yeah, re-up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk sneaker news. The first piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is Kyrie Irving going on Instagram to totally shit on Nike and saying that his upcoming Kyrie 8 is trash and that he, quote, has absolutely nothing to do with them. I'm told by a couple industry people that this is less uh, to do with the design and more that Kyrie is wanting a little bit more money out of his Nike more situation. Kyrie, Kyrie. I don't know. Evan, are you into basketball sneakers at all? Have you seen the shoe? Not those ones, but Do you I've agree with these assessment that they're trash? They look like a spaceship, <laughs> not in the good way. <laughs> but how, like, how take is me, that, take me how back is that to my true that planet. he doesn't know about? I, I'm, I'm like, skeptical. Don't you, you know if you have a shoe coming out, you know what it looks like, no? Yeah, I, I have my doubts. It's a lot of things that goes on behind closed doors at Nike, um, just on a big business level. And you know, um, Kyrie is one of those big players for Nike. He's not like a mediocre player. So, uh, but we also do know that Kyrie has his own opinion. He has a perspective that is very Kyrie. Always. They always tell you to watch how you leave a situation. You know what I'm saying? Whether you want to burn that bridge, kind of light it on fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what is, what <laughs> is your point? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what is your <laughs> 
What is your overall point? Um, is what I always say with Kyrie. For a brother like himself that thinks the way that he thinks, I think they should spend some more time, a little bit more time, at least explaining why he thinks the way that he thinks for certain things. Like, he just, it is what it is. That shoe is ugly, though. I mean, there's no way he didn't see it. He probably okayed it, and then now that it's out to the world to see, that he's like kind of backing up on his whole thing because he I would, knows that no one likes him. I, I would think it's something along those I mean, lines. I mean, and there's no way that like, if you're one of Nike's top athletes and the shoe goes through all the processes of it, that like, if you are like, hey, I don't want to show up to this meeting and you don't show up, there's you no way that a photo Nike, of it at least. Right. No. <laughs> that Nike's not like calling you or sending you emails being like, what do you think about this? They're Dude. definitely calling him now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next bit of sneaker news, Ame Leon Dor. Woo! As another pair of New Balances coming out, not the 550, it's the 650R, also designed by our friend Stephen Smith. Fucking Christmas. The thing about this shoe is it's kind of like their 1300 collaboration earlier or last year that they're gonna pre order the shoe. Yep. So you don't have to worry about striking out on release day. They're gonna kind of make as many as they want. Evan. I like those. This is a New York cool guy, downtown cool guy shoe. You're a downtown cool guy. Oh God. He's shaking his oh, head. Evan. I like those. You <laughs> think he's our cool guy? Downtown cool guy. I think it. Sure. I think it's turned into something that you just have no control over. But if it's a good shoe, then you. So you see the the five fifties, the low tops, like everywhere downtown, right? No, I just saw a meme of like, said like. Man stands outside of Ame Leon door for 48 hours straight and oh, dies yeah. on the curb or something. <laughs> Which is pretty true, but like... You ever get an espresso from there? Best coffee. Yeah. I get the mountain tea, I get the little oat, little thingies. We might hit cookies. upside afterward across the street. Teddy hooks you up or...? Teddy hooks it. Somehow I have the in there now. I don't know why, but... <laughs> I'm hyped because I don't have to pay for Mountain Tea because <laughs> I go there almost every day just to get that and leave. I so do you, do you want these shoes or no? Yeah, I would wear them. Yeah. I like these colors better than the first ones. Like, I feel like these are a little darker than the first ones that came out. Yeah. Like red, yeah. For I think me, it's kind of cool that they're doing the pre-order model on this because a lot of people have been complaining about Nike's super limited stuff saying, why don't you just do a pre-order? Why don't you let us yeah. pay ahead of time and, and do it later? And New Balance quietly has kind of yeah. solved that. I love that this shoe kind of takes it back to like basketball in the 90s, kind of like the Xavier McDaniels, Hakeem Olajuwon feel. Um, yeah. I love when sneakers had that like just real big ankle, a lot of material. Teddy does really, really well with this brand. I don't know that guy, but I am very, 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 very Evan proud of this. Well, you can you. introduce me, right? Yeah, come on down, Mulberry <laughs> Street. I am now the new spokesperson for Ahmed. There it is, there Look it how is. that works. <laughs> so Evan, I want to get more into sneakers and you, man. We knew that you grew up in Hawaii, and uh, I, what I'm interested in is, when did sneakers actually start mattering to you, brother? I first started like really looking at sneakers uh, when I first started skating, which was like 9, 10, 11. It's kind of okay. all kind of fuzzy. I've hit my head on the concrete too many times to really- uh, Were you out at the Bonsai exactly. Park? Yeah. Were you in the back of CCS, like circling shoes or- I was, yeah, I was on, there was this other website that I forget, Active. but it was like CCS. And then there was also this other one that I can't think of, but I would just order stuff from there or my mom would take me to the Vans outlet, like all the way in town, like an hour away from our house. Like it would be like a, buy one, get half off or something. Uh -huh. Nice. So she would hook it up at the retail store and just be like. Were you, were you into Nike SBs growing up? Because like, I feel like you were like a little young for that wave to really pop off. No, I mean, I was never really like a sneakerhead. Still kind of am not. I'm just like. You have to leave. Over. <laughs> Wait, what show are we on? You failed it. <laughs> Wait, this isn't a cooking show? <laughs> no, but you said you bought the dunks and. No, well, yeah, like that, but like, I really started like caring about shoes when I started skating. I was wearing half cabs, mostly all van shoes, because I thought like Vans was like the only skate shoe brand. Mm. It was kind of, I mean, I don't know if it was before Nike was into skateboarding, but Nike wasn't really as present as they are now. Interesting. I wore like knee pads and like a helmet and like elbow pads and wrist guards, like literally every pad you can think of. <laughs> Out there looking so like, like bubble boy. Yeah, like the shoes were like my favorite part because it wasn't a pad. Like I right. just like was hyped on one being out of the house and not doing school and uh, getting teased at the skate park. I really liked it. it <laughs> a lot of people know you through, or at least our audience knows you through Nike SB because Travis picked you to be part of the, the rollout for his first sneaker. Like how did that happen? That was like 
something that, I don't know how it happened, but it just happened. So we're like, I was on tour with them. We were in Europe. We were at, Italy. Uh, Italy. It was like the last show of the tour. And there was like this back room and they like designed this whole thing for like the after party. And it just had like a giant lamp, or like really crazy upscale things of like a giant couch or something. So it was just like a cool place to shoot. He gave it to all of us that day. And he was like, yo, put these on, go stand over there. And he's like, sound checking and me and Ray go in the back and like just shoot a couple pictures and then he ends up like using it. <laughs> it's like, by the way, that and was a just, Nike commercial. Yeah, <laughs> by the way, you just are on my Instagram now, so. Um, Did you get to keep the shoes? Yeah, I actually almost wore them today, but they're looking a little dusty. Right place, right time, that's, that's the Yeah, it was just like a whatever thing and I like still had no idea why I was on tour with him in the first place. So I was just like, <laughs> yeah, well, fuck it, that's cool. And you weren't sure how you even ended up there. Well, he just, he like called one day and was like, yo, pull up, oh. we're in London. <laughs> I, like, Sick. I love that right. it's that simple. It, it really was, it's just really weird that I just was like, okay, well, I've never been on tour and I always wanted to go on tour. And then I did. And then now I'm good for a couple of years to go on tour. <laughs> there, there were like, you know, some OG people in the skate scene who, I guess felt some sort of way about Travis Scott being pegged as the guy to like kind of put Nike SB on his back to like yeah. bring it back. Did you get any sort of like flack from skaters? Or did they say anything like, oh, you're working with Travis. This isn't cool. This isn't real skate. No, well, because I've, I've felt like that has been my life and career like my entire time. Yeah. Like just kind of bending the rules. somewhat rules yeah. of what people think is, you know, legitimized or not legitimized. It's like, if you have like a, an idea or something and the, and the backing to do it, why not do it? Like, I think it's just boring to kind of listen to all those people. Obviously it's boring, like, yeah. and who's making the rules anyway? Right. We're just having fun making things that people obviously want to buy. Clearly. So you've seen Travis know. Scott kickflip or no? <laughs> That's uh, the most important question. Yeah, um, I've yeah, seen him first. push around for sure. Wealthy wants to play skate with Travis, I think. I have a video of him like like learning how to ollie and it, it's getting there for sure, but he was also on a Christmas complete, so he like had everything brand new, so I'm gonna give him the benefit of the okay, doubt. Okay, okay, fair enough. This uh, old picture that I love, one of my favorite pictures I have in my archive <laughs> is uh, an old picture of Tony Hawk skating in Jordan 1's taped up. You know, back then, you know, Tony wasn't per se thinking as much of style with a Jordan 1 that kids think of style with a Jordan 1 now. That just shows that like, you know, you gotta skate in what makes you feel good. But I do understand why the OGs is what you would say will feel a type of way because nobody knows Trav for being a skater. But once again, like Evan said, the same people never really made the rules. They just went along with it as it came about. Like they're not true gatekeepers no more. They did their era. And it is what it is, you know, like business yeah. is business. But I, Evan, I want to ask you this, you know, dealing with Travis, you know, you you, you said that you're actually not necessarily a sneaker here, which is totally fine. It's not but fine. But do you think that, <laughs> do you think that being closer to Trav, especially since he's become such a, a killer with shoe collabs, has it made you more into sneakers? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely started paying attention a little more than I was before. You know, obviously I, I have like, Jordan Retro 4s are like the Black Cats. Yeah. Those are like some of my favorite silhouettes now. But I didn't even know about them until like a few years ago because I didn't want to play basketball or yeah. live in New York. I think those two things are like really influential <laughs> in people yeah. uh, wearing are, Jordan. Are, are you the, precious the about them at all? Or like, are, it seems like not coming from like the collector's mindset that you probably don't care to just like wear them on tour and mess them up. Yeah, honestly, like if <laughs> I if I had to buy them, I would be a little bit more precious probably. Right, like but I actually spent my money on this stuff. Yeah, and also I don't I don't like have shoes to sell them. I like want to wear them. You've never resold any of your sneakers? No. I just, I mean, I'll either give them away or wear them, so. Have you ever thought about it? Have you looked up the prices? I, I have the Dior Jordan low ones. We might have to, you know. I wore them once, so I guess I can't. If really... you need a middleman, oh Paul. I think, yeah. Between you three, I feel like we could figure out something. We could. <laughs> <laughs> right. Another person you're friends with who makes expensive sneakers, Brendan Dunn's favorite sneaker guy, Tom Sachs. Okay. Yeah. Does he ever hook you up with any of the shoes? You have. Some, are you wear testing the Mars Yard 2.5s? My girlfriend's actually way closer to him than I am, so she gets the shoes, and you jealous? I do not. Yeah, I am jealous. <laughs> well, I don't know, like. 
why, but I just kind of want to be in the crew, you know? Yeah, that's all you ever want, I feel like, is to see the team. Exactly. You guys have a common <laughs> ground, wanting to be closer to Tom Sachs, right? I'm the, when, oh, since when am I the Tom Sachs, like, super fan? <laughs> no, this is the only Space Jam we acknowledge, okay? No, I, I go surfing with Tom, it's fun. Is he good? Yeah, he rips. I, nice. I had no idea. <laughs> he wants to, he wants to surf with you guys. Trust me, Evan. He is horny. <laughs> he is horny right now. And he's going horny, to Rockies. Let's horny for Rockies. surf. How do you know all these places? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You're tripping me out by like saying like home beach breaks of mine. I won't. I won't spoil the spots, but we might have to go to. We'll bleep it out. That is the beach I grew up on. I know. That's crazy. Okay, you're nard warning me right now. <gasps> He's on his head top. Evan, <laughs> I will say to you also, we're one of the first people to debut the LV skate shoe. How did that happen, if you don't mind us asking? And also, what are your thoughts on that shoe when it comes to skate overall? Like, is it a good shoe to skate in for, for you? Personally, it's too, the soles are a little too stiff. But then again, like, people like skating in Air Force Ones, and I just don't know how that's really possible. <laughs> but for Lucien, or for Lucien, I feel like it makes so much sense for him because I feel like he likes those type of shoes, obviously, because it's his shoe. I feel like higher like quality shoes that are made like that, like Celine makes kind of like a skate sneaker looking shoe. YSL does one that I've skated and they've lasted a long time on the mm. top part. They don't rip for a long time because they're the like actually good. skatable. They're like actually skatable, but the soles are the only thing that I have a problem with because they're like, I don't know if they're made too good or just the soles are too, they're not like very flexible. I remember they so many shoes it. like skating in like the early 2000s where I'm like, how did I skate in this thing? Like yeah, when yeah, the yeah. shoes were just super thick back then. For sure. Old DCs. Yeah, Stevie <laughs> Williams. <laughs> Osiris's. Um, whew, hey. let's, let's, let's take that trip down memory lane. Evan, I want to ask you about a sneaker real quick. I don't know, have you ever seen this sneaker before? Does that look familiar to you at all? I mean, I've seen it once before okay i don't i've never won it so so people were saying this is a scrapped frank ocean collab so i was just trying to get a little bit more info but oh it might be um nothing we can say about that no i feel like he's really private so i don't want to spill anything <laughs> okay i was i was looking for a bean but that's fair enough i mean it could be i could be or it could not be i don't know wait have you ever i know we talked about the lv thing have you ever skated with virgil i know there's like the video of him doing the heel flip online um yeah this one year i walked for him i think it was his second runway show he did with lv just backstage not like a heavy sweaty session but it was just like <laughs> popping around skating through the backstage area but did he impress you no not really but <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for all the sneaker and skate gossip. Uh, yeah, gossip I mean, I want to be honest, skate but I also gossip. don't want to like skate blow gossip. out anyone's spot. No, we would never. <laughs> I mean, we would I, never blow out anyone. With a mustache like that, I do not trust. <laughs> he knows you will. Hey, I mean, the Aloha shirt today, though. I appreciate that. Hey, man, trying to keep it Akamai. Uh, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible that you said last week, as decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week it is wealthy for his row row joke um, that he made about Raul Alejandro. So it feels like you're about to hit the gas on the motorcycle and go row row. Row If you could pass him these, he's got to put on that the H and M. What are these Uniqlo? Uh, yeah. Um, I can't even believe they can get away with this. This is quite common. These aren't, these aren't so bad. It is pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. I was wondering about that too. Like, have you ever, you... when you're when you're doing all these like run like runway modeling sort of stuff, and they like just hand you the shoes to wear, have they ever like gave you some really like wax sneakers, and you're like, oh my god, I have to wear these? I mean, I've only done like a few runways, yeah. so all the ones that I've been in, a lot of them like ask me if I like the outfit before. Can you say no in that moment though? Or is it just like, you gotta be like, I love this shit. I mean, I think everyone's different. I think um, Virgil and also like Matthew are like really like, I feel like I can like- Be help. honest with them. Not, not help them, but just like be honest and be like, hey, like I would actually wear feedback. this, but yeah. I don't really like these, but I would love to wear these. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And if not, you just wear the shits anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't really have that much of a say, but I feel like those two guys I can like, talk to and say like, hey, I really would love to wear those. <laughs> <Not> those. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a pair? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Take a trip to H&M. I agree with you, um, Evan. I feel that the two designers you named, they're the ones that pay attention to the culture and they actually trust your taste. Anyways, Evan, we do a segment on the show, sir. 
and it's called drip flip or skip. And drip meaning that it looks good, flip meaning that you will resell the sneaker, and skip meaning that you don't rock with the sneaker at all. Our first sneaker in drip flip or skip is gonna be our guys, Eastside Golf, with their first Jordan 4. It's a Golf Jordan 4. This in is the what? first. It's the first Jordan 4 um, that doesn't have, um, that they put the, actually has a black man on the logo. That's amazing for me. I got to put that out here. Because hey, what I about Michael Jordan? Him. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to go there, be technical. Kind of smoked you just said. But, I mean, I think I've seen enough mm. of this shoe, but I'm torn between flip or skip, because if you flip it, you'll make money. If you skip it, you don't get the money. Yeah, you, you yeah. No. You're not hitting top golf in these? Flipping those for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I want to say flip because these uh, Jordan retros with the golf situation on the bottom do go for a decent amount of money and this is a cool collab, but I'm going to say it's a drip because it's a cool collab. Shout out to Earl, shout out to Olajuwon. Happy to see this project happen. Yeah, I don't have any um, need for these like in my personal life because I'm not going to play golf. But That's what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. it's, it's just one of those things like you don't want to be that, uh, remember there was always like that one kid that like had to wear like cleats to school or something like that because he like didn't have sneakers and everyone's like looking at him like kind of oh, funny. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know that I kid. was homeschooled my whole life. I have no idea. <laughs> he wasn't even wearing shoes. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't wearing shoes. So <laughs> so I don't, who are you to judge? Exactly. I don't want to be that person wearing uh, cleats out in the streets, but I think the collaboration itself is Super dope that they got the opportunity to do this. So no, it's good. cool. It's cool that they have that silhouette and yeah. they made a golf shoe. Four. Uh, it, get it? It's a drip. Four. Oh, stop! 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 Anyways. Wow! Did they not use that in the marketing? Wow! A Jordan, Next. Jordan wow, Four. I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> did they not call this the Jordan Four? F O R E. I <clears> exclamation <throat> point. Genius. Nike, did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tap wow. in. Tap in. Tap in. <laughs> this. Uh, for me, this is going to be a drip. I got to support the guys. I've already wore these on my beautiful feet with my beautiful dad's socks um, last Watch week. Watch the last episode. Hey, Amen. But um, definitely. Oh, wait. These these are your homies? You guys know these guys? Yeah. Oh, drip then. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't know it was the homies thing for sure. Let's go. Beautiful. Maybe my favorite shoe now. <laughs> Very proud of these guys. Um, got me more interested because we're getting ready to do a golf sock for our dad's sock company. And I want to um, network out there on the field. So I'll definitely be rocking these when I actually start learning how to play golf, which will be very soon. So this you is can a see that video. Uh, moving forward in shoes, we have the Levi's New Balance 992. Well, to you, New Balance guy. Talk to me. Yeah, these are awesome. I think sometimes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you <laughs> wait, wait, wait. These are. <laughs> no, I love. I love. Awesome, actually. I love New Balance. I love great New Balances. Uh, I love Levi's. It's cool. Like uh, the shoes, I guess, are made from vintage gray Levi's jeans. Oh, really? Uh, so I don't know how different they look, but no two pairs are exactly the same because the denim. Uh, like maybe, do they smell like vintage denim? Because I don't want someone's like butt sweat on my shoes, you know? Right. It, might, it might be on like the leg or something. So okay, yeah, might, I'll take the knee part. You might not luck the out, part. yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean, I like this shoe, it's a drip. Yeah, I think it's cool. I like the color and everything. Do they really make them from like every like, single Yeah, like, where did you get all those jeans? Where, especially that many gray jeans. Buffalo That's the real exchange. question. <laughs> you think so? Somebody at New Balance's job was to Stella do Dallas, Dallas Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm gonna call this a drip. I, I, you know, it's kind of a cool flip yeah. on the classic gray New Balance. I was ready to hate these, but all the hate is gone from my heart right now, so I like it. <laughs> Just being around Welty so much, this is a drip. This is Welty's Triple S right here, Balenciaga Triple S for him. This is like this is 35 year old drip shoe. Oh yeah, like no cap. No oh, cap. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You put this on yeah. with some hard Levi denims. This shoe, <laughs> gray T-shirt, white tee. Like, don't play with him. Looking um, like a camp counselor. Ooh. See you at the Grove. See you at the Grove! <laughs> wow. The mall walk it out. Evan, like, I, I feel like I see you in Nike more than anything, but, like, you don't necessarily seem to be, like, Nike boys. Um, no, I'm kind of a free spirit in that sense. Yeah. I mean, in I get... free agent? Yeah, I'm an, I'm an FA. Fucking awesome. Decent dope? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not the deal. No, I get, I, get, I get Converse shoes. I like skating in Converse. Yeah. But I get a lot of different shoes from... Everything else. That way, I mean, I don't have a contract with a shoe company, so it's nice I can None still like can drop you after they see what you say on this show. Hundred percent. If, if you want anyone, just stress say free. To, you can say it to the camera right now, and you know, plead Manifest. your case. Manifest. Well, I just would like to say thank you to uh, 
all those shoe brands that have been sent me stuff. I like it, it's nice. I either, if I don't like them, I get to spread the love and share it with the homies. Mahalo. Yep, aloha vibe. Moving forward on shoes. Undefeated times Nike Dunk Low. Evan, I'm gonna start with you. Is this a drip, flip, or skip? You, oh man, I don't know. The, the snake throws me off a little bit. I would have to probably skip these, honestly. Okay. I personally wouldn't wear them for yeah. my own personal style, but I could see you in those or you in those. Uh, yeah, you might you might see me wearing these. Sick. Well, right. I'll make sure to dap you up next time. <laughs> I'll be time on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're going to see me in these. I think this is the best of the whole set they've done this summer. Shout out to Jesse Leva. I like this shoe a lot, and, and I need this shoe a lot. So, Ooh, you know. There it is. <laughs> Put it together. You have my address. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these are these are the Greg Bearhalters. Wore these last night. Who's that? Head coach of the U.S. Men's National Soccer Team. Oh, oh okay. He, he wore the these. He wore these on the sidelines. The he coach. Got the drip, man. And when they when they beat Mexico in the Gold Cup final, it's wow. fitting that they're made by undefeated because U.S. National Team undefeated this time around. You know that's exactly why he wore them. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going deep in his bag for, for that sure. one. For <laughs> sure. Yeah. So this is a drip. Good job. Good job. Well, it's a great job actually. This is a skip for me. Um, not because it's Thank a bad you. Thank you. I just really don't think it's for me. And I love Indefeated. They know I've spent so much money with them. But I'm just cool on this. Yeah, really yeah. It's the yeah, it's the same on this side. It's like, I fuck with Undefeated, but for me personally, I don't just don't think I would wear them. And I'm a big colorway guy. This colorway just doesn't hit the way that it probably should. Evan, Mr. Mock, should I say. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mock is Steve. <laughs> you you got to be stopped. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not surprised you know my dad. He's a legend, so. Uh, we also do outfits on this segment, and it's no better outfits to do in the entire world than Evan Mock. Oh, outfits. God, dude. Outfits, <laughs> top speaker. It's, it's giving. It's giving you me You don't stand behind this? It's giving me... It's just... Well, I was just looking at a picture of myself right now. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into well, it. Definitely skip. I regret 100% about this outfit. But really? What? Why? Just as it as a whole, I just don't know about it anymore. I feel like there's stronger ones in the vault than this one, <laughs> for sure. I walked into this thinking that this was a great outfit, so this is a trip. Damn. Um, All right. Yeah, we were trying to like big you up, and then you like chop yourself down. I we're never, here to build you I up, Evan. I never understand you goddamn models. God damn it. What's in the bag? Probably a camera. Probably some matches. Contraband. Uh, a notepad and a pen. What's nice. in the notepad? Doodles. <laughs> no, I love this outfit. I think he made these Travis Scott dunks look really good, and I don't really like that shoe that much. So I'm going with you on this one. Take me there. Right I'm away. jumping on the bandwagon. I okay. back this one now. <laughs> this is a uh, mock outfit. For sure. This is drip. Mock out with your mock out. <laughs> if you, wait, if you, do, if you do a sneaker, would it be a moccasin? Ooh. Damn. Let's right. go. Let's fucking go. Creative director of UGG. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a, a royalty for that. Moccasin would be fire, actually. Then we can make a mockumentary hey. about the moccasin. Outfit number two. Oh my god, this was so uncomfortable, this outfit. Really? It looks comfortable. He's comfortable. Well, it looks like you, the, the breeze could just flow right through you. There's no breeze <laughs> in that. Where are you? Where are it's you? literally, this is in Paris in like this really cool, Location, forget what it's called, but we were at the Balmain show. That top thing I'm wearing is like, there's crystals in it, there's no holes in it. It's basically, if you were to put like a plastic bag over you, but thick and on the other side, because the crystals are tied into the plastic part, it's super itchy and sticky. So I'm sweating and also really uncomfortable, but this is the one a lot of people talk about all the time, so. I guess it was worth it. <laughs> were, you, were you like, it's gonna be see-through, I'm gonna show the body off of the world, I gotta hit some few crunches and push-ups before I No, dude, on. I'm like the last person to think about that, honestly. Like, have you ever seen a stick figure flex? <laughs> That's you? Because I will flex right now and you'll see it for the first time. But uh, no, this was an interesting one. I feel weird saying drip for myself, but I'll say drip, I guess, because I, I like this one. Respect. The outfit, I know it takes a lot of confidence to wear that out, but I really don't like those CDG Air Jordan 1s. Damn, I knew you were gonna say something about those. 
You don't like them clinking and clacking everywhere? It's, the chains oh, man, like it was just like if you thought like the, like what they were going to do, if you're going to see a CDG Air Jordan 1 and then it's this shoe that like kind of no one really remembered, it just kind of seems like a miss. But that said, I'm, I'm skipping it too because I don't like those CDG ones. But or you I, just don't like me. No, I, yeah, cool. Awesome. Nice. Well, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, well, you did. <laughs> I like the shirt. <laughs> I wish you guys all could try that shirt on. I want to. So I might you have to know. go and buy it. Did what they, I went through did that you day. Keep the shirt, like I'll. Hell no. <laughs> I need the shirt. I wore it like not properly, so I just like yeah. didn't want to wear it again. Yeah. It was like a one and done thing, you know. It was a moment. One and done. Um, for me, it's a drip. Uh, this is a fashion sneaker. Obviously, it's a fashion outfit. And obviously, it's every month. This type of top is a top that you wear with confidence. So that's just what it is. As far as leather pants, you wear with confidence. People think of these things as like a big thing to a big ordeal. But at the end of the day, when you are confident with yourself, you just put it on. You're in Paris, you're going to wear this. You know, those CDG, right. I mean, CDG Air Jordan 1s, the white, the white and the black, I have both. I'm a big fan. Um, well, I think you know why I'd be a big fan because I like things yeah. that are outgoing. You know, so that high, long tongue, to me, that it takes me back to the Marty McFly. It, it feels like something that you would see per se in um, an anime type of, a Kira type of vibe for me. That's why mm -hmm. I like it, you know what I'm saying? But it also has, the, the chain element of it made it more um, newer vibe. I really like that shoe when it came out. I bought it from Dover Street, shout out to Dover Street. And you can tongue fuck them too, shout out Jim Jones. Amen, <laughs> amen. Um, last, but, last but not least. He's tongue fucking them here, yeah, you had them fucked. <laughs> last but not least, um, Evan, talk to me. What's going on right here? Very left field photo. I didn't think you were going to pull this one up. Um, what is going on there? We're in Japan. This okay. is around like Shibuya area. This is real life Shibuya. Pokemon Go. I think Shibuya, we just left Shibuya. that like robot kind of parade thing that yeah. everyone goes to. The restaurant, right? This was on a palace skateboards trip. That's That was the second time I went to, to Tokyo. It's the craziest and, uh, thing you ever bought in Japan. Oh, that was the first time I went to like a VR like video game place. That was that yeah. blew my mind. Mm. Like, what was the game? It was just like a shooting game. It was like four. Like you were there, you were there. I was here, and my homies right here, and we're all like battling each other. <laughs> and you couldn't really walk anywhere. You just have to spin. Oh, you can't actually and, like, like lean take steps to forward. like go forward. <laughs> it was a whole nother level because at that time I never tried it before, and we were just all like tripping out like holy <laughs> shit. I'll say it's a drip because that's my usual. Work wear. That's a skater outfit right there, so I feel pretty comfortable in that. It might be a flip, like a kick flip. Sorry, we've done that joke so many times in the show, but I had to. It's a drip, I love these shoes. And I love spending time in Tokyo. Yeah, this is a drip, I love hearing the story. Does Tyler send you the shoes, are you guys? Friends? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, we've talked and hung out before, but I don't know if he sent those personally. <laughs> Somebody or... sent them. Yeah, who knows, but whoever does, thank you. Yeah, what's it called, I'm, I'm a, Huge fan of the golf brand from um, Tyler. Even and though you're I got a, a future even, golfer. <laughs> and I'm a future golfer. Watch out PGA Tour. Woo! Tiger, Tiger James. Um, it's a trip, you know. Uh, I love Pikachu. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know cool. <laughs> Evan, before we get out of here for the day, we want to bring you to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one here from 120ML saying, Gian killed it with the edits, that little Brendan. Hey, he does a great job, huh? Bon San Pedro said, told my wife that I'm ARMY. She was thinking BTS ARMY, no way, FS ARMY, gang gang, and then he put hashtag FSRPH. Shout out to the Philippines. Hey. Real Vibes says, the worst part about FSR is when the episode ends. Here we are at our next. It is right now. Sorry for that. I am your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. I have taste. I'm Trinidad James. I I'm Ho I'm Hawaiian. I'm Evan. I skateboard and surf and stuff. Go watch Gossip Girl. HBO Max. Woo! Can I get a login? 100%. I got you. <laughs> yes! She won every color. That's a full size. Buy six for my kids. Bought a seven for my chick. Listen. The episode is finished, but we're actually not finished here. I need you to subscribe. Please subscribe. Get us to 500,000. Get us to a million. Get us to a bajillion. Guys, this is season 10. If you've been with us with this journey for the last umpteen years, we need more subscribers. We deserve more subscribers, and you will get us more subscribers. Handle also, that. don't forget, Soul Collector app. Download that best price comparison tool out there. Do it now.